As a banana grower, I always look for ways to improve my productivity, to reduce my water and fertilizers consumption, and to decrease my operating costs. Because in our highly competitive field, one must always stay efficient in order to survive and stay on top. I have been using Auto Agronom for six years. I have four systems. I think it is a revolution in plants irrigation and feeding. And I believe the agriculture in Israel and the whole world would irrigate in the future with smart irrigation systems which could provide the plants only and exactly what they need. When we started to grow here about 80 years ago, our yields were 10 tons per hectare. When I started to grow bananas 45 years ago, our yields were about 50 tons per hectare. And now, with the help of the newest technologies, such as smart irrigation and net houses, we reach an average of 80 tons per hectare. And I believe there is still room for further improvement. Our yields for the season ended June 30th, 2015. We're 20 tons over the Jordan Valley's average. We have surpassed an average of 80 tons per hectare for all of our 50 hectares. This is an outstanding result. I am not familiar with such high yields in Israel and maybe not even in the world. I have no doubt that part of these results are related to the way we irrigate with auto agronom. When it comes to feeding, I give about 70% of the fertilizers per hectare in comparison to my fellow growers in the Jordan Valley. But what I really care about is how much water and fertilizers I consume in order to grow one ton of bananas. And I can guarantee that I have the lowest ratio among all banana growers in the Jordan Valley. Here we can see a set of sensors, which purpose is to measure the data from around the plant and transmit the data to the controller. According to the data, the controller decides when and how to irrigate. One of the important parameters is the dissolved oxygen in water. And this, of course, is made possible through the use of high-frequency, low-water flow irrigation. Obviously, the plants enjoy these conditions and results are accordingly. I stand in one of our eastern plots. This plot is characterized as calcareous soil. For many years, the plot had been disqualified for banana growing by the Agriculture Extension Services. When we asked the Extension Services, can we grow bananas here? They took soil samples and replied, keep away from this place like from fire. Here bananas will never grow. Nevertheless, thanks to Auto Agronom, we have managed to plant bananas. We've had three excellent harvests. This cluster here will provide the fourth harvest, and this shoot over here will produce the fifth harvest next year. Nowadays, farmers provide the plants with whatever they think the plants need. Auto Agronom, on the other hand, does not provide according to what we think is needed, but according to what the plant feels that it needs. And it doesn't matter if it is banana, corn, cotton, avocado, or apples.